In his book, The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, leadership expert John C. Maxwell talks about the law of the lid. It's probably one of the most famous laws that he teaches about le leadership, and it's basically this, that you become the lid on your organization as far as how much it can grow. If you don't keep growing as a leader, you're not go going to be able to grow those that you lead. You're not going to be able to take them to the next level. So we want to talk about how do you do that? How do you grow as a leader? Not only yourself, but how do you also grow your organization? How do you develop your team members? And I want to share with you a framework that I've developed called CoreX25. And what this is, is a, it's a plan to help not only you grow, but help you grow your team as well. It's like putting the lines on a football field. If there were no lines there, we wouldn't know where the out of bounds were. We wouldn't know when we're making progress. So the CoreX25 system is really a framework so that can help you plan how you want to grow as a leader and how you want to grow those who are on your team. It has five leadership platforms. We call these essential leadership platforms because it's true of every leader that they have to lead in one of these five platforms. And I want to share those with you today. These platforms actually make up the acronym CoreX. The first one is for your culture. You always have to lead in the area of culture. The second one is operations, all the systems, how you get things done. You as a leader have to lead in those areas. When it comes to results as a leader, you have to always be paying attention to the results of your organization. Are you meeting your goals? Do you have, have you set the right goals for your organization? And then we have to look at expansion, growth into the future. If we were going to expand is what we are doing now scalable. That is the role of a leader to look ahead to look beyond where you are today to what's next. And then finally, the X factor. What are those things that uh, come into your world of which you have no control? It can be regulatory changes, uh, uh, economic downturn, loss of a key player, competition that maybe isn't fair at that time. Uh, those are what we call X factors. Leaders have to lead in X factor situations. So we want to talk about each of these essential platforms of leadership because these are areas that you have to grow as a leader. If you're going to grow team members, you have to lift your lid in each one of these platforms of leadership. So the first one is the culture of your organization. And, and I want to ask some key questions about culture. When you're looking at what kind of culture are you going to be, one of the first questions you need to ask is, who are we as an organization? How do we want people to know us? Every organization has a personality, just as people do. What personality do you want your organization to have? What do you want people within your organization to say about who you are as an organization? And what do you want people outside, your vendors, your customers, even your competition in the marketplace? What do you want to have them saying about who you are as an organization? And then simply the next question is, what do we believe? Because what we believe drives our behavior. It drives how we think. It drives how we interact with each other. So what do we believe as a group or as an organization? That's going to drive your culture. And then every good leader always goes to the question, why? And the question why on culture is, why do we do what we do? What is the compelling reason that you get out of bed every morning to be part of the organization that you are in? And if you can't answer that question, if you can't lead in that area of culture, if you don't know the answer to that yourself, it's hard to grow others in the area of culture as well. Then we want to talk about your operations. There's some key questions that you need to ask about operations that you need to grow in yourself as a leader around this area of operations and how do you do them better. But, but how do we get things done? It, we have to have a clear understanding of how we move processes through an organization. This can be everything from how we do billing, to how we pay invoices, it can be to how we hire new people, it can be about how we produce the products that we produce or the services that we produce. What are the systems in the operations and, and how do we do what we do? Because once we understand how we do what we do, then we can start looking at are there ways to improve that. The next question you want to ask yourself about operations is who does what and when? On the operations scale, there's not only processes in place, but there are also deadlines. Who must do what by when is a question that we have to ask all the time in this whole area of operations. So are you clear about what those systems are in that operations? 
how do you do what you do? And is everybody clear about that? And then the final question is so important, is why do we do it this way? You know, there's story after story about uh, organizations or people who do things a certain way for years. And, and, and one of the ones that fascinated me was to hear about a family that every year when they, the mother would cook the holiday ham, uh, she would cut the ends off the ham. And, and her daughter asked her one day, what, why do you do that? And she said, well, we've always done that. And the daughter said, yeah, but, but why do you do it? She says, I don't know, my mother always did that and her mother always did it. So I figured it's just how we have to bake the ham. So later that day, her mother showed up and she said to her mother, why, why do we do that? And she said, I don't know, let me ask your grandmother. So she called her grandmother and said, why do we do that? And she said, well, actually it was because the oven was so small that I had to cut the ends off the ham so it would fit. It's really important that we know why we do what we do and why we do it the way that we do it. The next thing that we want to talk about is results. What is it that we need to accomplish? Are we really clear about that? What is it that we need to accomplish? As a leader, to have that clear in your mind of what your goals are and to be able to break those down incrementally so you understand the nature of each goal. And then how do we communicate that in such a way that we create a deadline for that goal? So when will it be done? Not only what needs to be done, but when will it be done? When will we meet that deadline? And then why, why do we need these goals? Why is it important that we reach these particular goals? You as a leader, this is an area of leadership that I think is one of the most important because you can have a very positive culture, you can have great operations and systems within your organization, but let's face it, if you are not getting the results that you set out to get, your organization isn't gonna be in existence long. Uh, results drive profits, they drive success. We have to make sure that we identify the right results and that we're going after them, we understand why those results really, really matter to the organization. Then we're gonna talk about this principle of expansion. Always ask yourselves as leaders, what's next? Leaders see further and sooner than anyone else. So we need to be asking the question, what's next? Not only do we need a great culture, not only do we need wonderful operations of how we get things done, not only do we need to be hitting the results for today, but as leaders, we need to be thinking, okay, what's next? How do we scale this? If we were to grow, is the way we're doing things right now scalable uh, to the next level? So then we, we start asking this, you know, why is it important for us to grow? How can we increase, increase our influence, uh, both within our organization, within the people that work here, maybe within our community, or possibly within our industry? If, if we grow and expand, what difference could we make if we were to become bigger and better in how we do that? Then the final area that I want to talk about is so important is this X factor. As leaders, you will have things that come to your organization that are outside your control. Again, it can be a downturn in the economy that we've seen in uh, many decades over the last few years, but particularly 2008 where everything went downhill really, really quick. And people got caught by that and, and some companies went out of business. Other companies looked at this as a time of opportunity for them to get leaner and to get better and they start looking at where they were having waste within their organization, where they could do cutbacks, how they could adjust and adapt to, uh, to the new challenges that they were facing. There's a Swedish uh, saying that I love, there is no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothing. And the message of that little phrase is this that we can't do anything about the weather, the environment around us, but we can do something about the clothing. We can adapt, not only to survive, but possibly even thrive in that new environment. So in the X Factor, as a leader, you're gonna lead in by asking these questions. What can we control? Don't waste time on the things that you can't control. Then you're gonna ask, how could uh, this possibly create a new opportunity for us? Not only look at the problem, but look at the problem realizing that your competitors and many other in the marketplace are dealing with the same problem. So is there possibly an opportunity here uh, to come out further ahead than maybe your competition? And then ask the question, why is solving this, in, this problem important? These are five essential platforms of leadership that I want to challenge you with today. And we want to show you and we're going to continue talking about this framework of CoreX25 and how it can help you uh, create a plan to grow as a leader and to grow your team.